Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and we're about to open the third bag of the four big bags from the 45 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. So let me say that again because it can get crazy. I bought a 45 pound box of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. We have opened bag number one and two, and this is bag number three. So I'm so glad that you tuned in. I hope you have a great time watching this video. I have not opened this. I don't open any of what I get pretty much from Shop Goodwill until I'm on the camera with you. That's just something I've decided to do on my channel for the most part. So I hope you enjoy seeing the jewelry just as I'm seeing it. I'm looking at a ring right here. It looks like a glass ring. Not sure, but it's very cool looking. And that looks like stone. So again, this is the third big bag from the 45 pounds of jewelry. I really like that they separate these out into separate bags rather than dumping it all into one box. Sometimes they do. So I'll give you a little peek at what's inside the bag and then we will open it up and see what we got. That looks like copper this. I can't tell if it's coral, but we'll find out. So again, my channel is mostly unboxing it right there with you on the camera. I don't do lives yet, but I do record myself as I'm unboxing. So I hope you love it. I'm going to start to open the bag and we'll have some bits where the tape might be a little loud, but that's okay. I kind of enjoy those sounds when I'm watching a video. I used to think it was a bad thing to have all the loud sounds. Not loud, but the tape sounds. But I don't mind them. I actually find it kind of cool. So. And now it's really loud, just because I said that, right? Thanks a lot, you. Okay. Looks like... They tape it right here where the zipper bag is, and that's what I try to get into. Keeping it neat, at least in the beginning. Then if I have to cut the whole bag open at the top, I'll do that. So I hope you had a great week. Some of us got snow. Now in this new year of January, 2024 in January, that I'm recording this. Yeah, some of us have had some crazy weather this week. And I think when I put my video up last Tuesday, it was not the best night because there were storms everywhere in the country. So probably not many people saw that one as normally would which is a shame because I found some beautiful sterling silver, garnet, and pearl jewelry. And another video that I did the jewelry bags. And I'll link, I'll link that video in my comment section. In case you missed that one because there were storms outside, then you can go back and look at it. Be able to get right to the zipper bag. That's great. Love it when that happens. But then I want to take off the sticky tape so that our jewelry doesn't get stuck to it. So I think I will pause, rip all this tape off, and be right back. But you won't know that. You won't even know I was gone. Hi everyone. Just thought I would come in for a minute and let you know how to purchase the jewelry. Just send me an email at Cape Cod eBay Girl at gmail.com. You can take a screenshot of this and have it for yourself, or you can listen along, or you can also read about these instructions in the video description under the title. So please send me the video name with episode number, the timestamp of when your pieces show, a brief description of the jewelry, and the prices. Thank you very, very much for that. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already and you like what you see, 
please let me know you're a new subscriber. I would love to say hello to you. Also, click the bell so you'll be notified of when my next video posts. And you'll be able to email me right away for any pieces that you like. I do answer my emails in the order they were received. So if you like something, you want to get an email to me very quickly, that's how you would do it, okay? So thanks for letting me do that. Okay, we got it. Just a little piece of tape on the top that I took off, so whoa, I can't wait to see what these are. Okay, I'm gonna push this to the side, and I do have paper towels put down when I open a new bag, just to keep my table clean. And I have ready my little tray where I'll lay down the pieces that need cleaned, researched, priced, like I need to search for a price, or they need to be tested. So my little tray is ready. And I also have this <laughs> combobulation ready. It's hard to show you on the camera because my camera stand can only go back so far. But it has this little tray on the bottom, it's metal, and then it has all these hangy things on the top, so I will use that to hang necklaces as we get going. And also, for those that are new to my channel, I have a Presidium Gem Tester. Somehow we named her Miss Prissy as things went along and put little eyes on her, so we've had a great time with that. So I'll turn that on, and we will see what we've got in this bag. It's gonna be fun. And I will also be working on a craft jar named Macy. So as we go through the jewelry, if I find anything that's craft worthy and it's not too big, I'll put it in the craft cup. And I have other craft items ready that I put aside for my subscribers and save them up for them to make a craft cup. So hope you have fun with all of this. Okay, first we have an art glass bracelet, turquoise colors. It's cute. It has a lot of three-dimensional things happening. This is probably a wedding cake type bead. Really pretty. Oh, look at the fish. That's lovely. Let me turn it this way. So this is really cool. It's on a memory wire which just goes back to the shape it's supposed to. But I think there's some really nice beads on here. Sometimes the bracelets like this will have a couple of nice beads and then other beads in general. This has a lot of nice beads. This one's beautiful right here. I'm gonna check this one to see if it is rock crystal. So. Let's bring our Miss Prissy over and try not to get it to reflect the lights. My overhead lights sometimes can mess up the... have a reflection. So this is glass, and then I just realized there's some, like, copper metal inside, so that wouldn't have been rock crystal. But yes, they're all glass. And they are very pretty. I like it a lot. Don't think I need to measure it because it's on a memory wire, but I will price it right away and I'll say $12 on the beautiful lamp work bead bracelet. So that's done. Then we've got, let's just get this one because I think I remember seeing this in the pictures. Although, when did I get this box? probably in the summertime, so it's been a bit. Wow. These are beautiful. Not sure what kind of stone. I hope it's stone. Let's first check the clasp, because if it's sterling, that'll tell us one thing, and then we'll test the stones to find out about another. And a quick way to test if something's sterling is to see if it's magnetic, and it is. So we can rule out sterling. However, the necklace is all hand knotted with what looks like silk cord, so that's a very nice sign. And let's see what they test as. It is kind of harder in the wintertime 
to feel whether these are cold or not because everything's kind of cold in the winter. But they are not really registering as stone. Wow, they did a great job making them look like stone. They fooled me. You are awake, right, Miss Percy? Okay. So they look like they are some very dense acrylic that's swirly. And they look like real stones. Really pretty. Okay. Thanks, Miss Prissy. It is quite the necklace. It's a green, sort of an olive green color with a light brown cording. And then the speckles have all kinds of colors in them. Reds and orange and it's lovely. Big lobster clasp. Show you what it looks on the Buster Boy. It's a good long piece. It's a great looking necklace. I like it. It measures. That's a good weight to it. it. Measures 26 inches. So yes, it's a beauty. It's in great shape. The chain is great. Looks like it's not been worn. And again, hand knotted and faux stone. So I'll say 14 on this piece. Oops, I'm sorry about that. That was a heavy one. Okay, then we have some earrings on a card. We're not always sure if this is the card that they're on. Metal Monk, not sure what that means. They are pretty, but they're kind of like a little wonky. Don't know if that's how they're supposed to be, but I think I'm going to take them off of here and make our first deposit in our craft jar, just because I'm not sure about these. I do like the filigree design that they have. Oh, these are buggers to get off sometimes, these backs. The backs are very, very new looking. Now, I don't know, should I throw that away or... Okay, so we will put these into our Macy craft jar as our first deposit. They do feel like some kind of plastic filigree. So again, cute, nothing wrong with them. I'll put these in too, because they're new and clean. And that's our first deposit. Okay, next we have an acrylic necklace. Oh, a bracelet. I like the colors. There's a light lavender, some other purples, pinks, and this silver tone hammered looking charm that's on it. So that's a pretty piece. The stretch is great. It does appear to be a bit older. So I'll say $4 on that. Now what are you? Look at the color of this red, wow. And this is all hand knotted. This is pretty. I think it says something on the clasp. I will take a look with my loop. By the way, I wanna thank, I think it's Megan, who commented on my very expensive loop. It had some sort of scratch on it and I was pretty upset with the scratch, but I was able to buff it out. So. Thanks for letting me know that that was showing up on the camera. Now, I'm going to try to show you close up what's on the clasp with my loopy loop. There you go. And I don't do my videos looking through my camera, so I have to go to the side and then look at what it says. And it looks to me, <clears throat> excuse me, like it says maybe 1 20th, 14 karat gold. But I have to give it a quick polish because I can't read it that well. So bear with me a second, because I want to know what it says. And also, why would it be gold, gold filled on these beads? That's going to tell us something too. Well, I can tell it's vintage. And I do believe 
yes, 1 20th 14 karat gold filled. And the clasp is a little bit worn, so someone has loved it. It is on some silk cording, so it's on the original cording it was on, and it's all hand knotted. It does feel like acrylic, but it's beautiful. Now, I'm wondering, oh, let's see, there's something called cherry amber, but how would I be able to tell? Maybe with my flashlight, my UV light? I'd have to turn my lights off for you guys, so let's see what we can do about that. Probably have to turn them all off. Let me put it under my table and see if it even reflects. It does not seem to be doing that. Um, I just might have to put it aside for a little bit more research. Turn my other light back on. It's quite beautiful, a gold filled clasp and findings. That's very interesting and a hand knotted piece. So I'll have to test it a little bit and see what's up with that. Very pretty. And it's a good length too. It's 26 inches, so nice. So I'm going to put that in my research pile on my little tray. Up next is a good looking black and gold tone chain. Let's see if the clasp says anything. It does not. It's rather lightweight, but it looks still well made. A little kink here. I don't think it's acrylic over the metal. Maybe it is. I do think it's an older piece though. So you have black and gold and I've not seen this before. It's 30 inches and this is how it looks on the buster. Gold tone and black and it's in very good shape. I don't see any wear on the metal. And it's cute, I like it. So I'll say four dollars on that piece. Now this, hmm, what would this be? I mean I know it's a bracelet but it's very shiny silver and gold tone and then we have this rather raw rock. It looks like what we called fool's gold when we were kids. Oh, there's a name to this, but I'm not going to know it off the top of my head. So maybe it's artisan made. It's not magnetic. I'll see if there's a sterling mark. Not seeing one. So we'll put this to the side and test the metal. That's a very interesting piece. And then we have some hearts for Valentine. Very cool. They look like abalone, like a three-dimensional earring. Looks like abalone inside that's covered with acrylic, but it may be faux abalone. Christopher Banks. Not sure if that's the card they actually came on. Sometimes you can tell by the back and what it says there. Hmm. Not sure, but they are cute. They have the green enamel, the swirl, and the hearts that look like uh, abalone. Pierced earrings, of course, and I'll say five on those. Okay. Now, I would like to comment on this for those of you that do unboxings, that I have a link in my description, my video description, of this uh, loop. I got it on Amazon, of course, and it's worth the money. I paid $35, but I'll tell you why I like it. It is, the glass is very good quality. I don't see any wobbling, like, how do I explain? It doesn't ripple on the outer edges like the cheaper ones do. So this has been worth the money. I just wanted to share that. 
And oh my goodness, I didn't even talk about my new rings. So I found some more um, Larimar rings. Those that have been watching my videos, you know I've really been searching for Larimar. Ever since I got this Larimar bracelet, I've been in love with the stone. So this week I got a lot, this lot, with these rings. I think these three came together. So this is so exciting to me because it's a, it's amber on sterling. And I hope you can see close because you can see the little bits inside of the amber. So those new to jewelry, amber is tree sap that's thousands of years old. And it's hard enough to use as a stone in jewelry. And it has little tiny things that were trapped in the sap way back when it, when it uh, solidified. This is a Larimar ring, and I'm happy to say it is on sterling silver because I've had some issues with buying rings that were not truly sterling. This is, so that's beautiful. I do like the teardrop shape, and I do like the design of the ring. Really fun to get these. This is so fun. This is all pearls, and it is quite old. I love that it's adjustable, and it's all sterling silver. So the best of every world, in my view, I do not polish my sterling. I do love the patina. It is marked with 925 inside, and it's also marked with two little O's. You're going to get to see how difficult it is to see inside of a ring with a loop. It's about the best you can get with these because the loop doesn't bend around inside. But anyway, it says um, 925, and then there's two circles next to each other, almost like two eyeballs. So if anyone knows what that means, do let me know. I'd love to know. But the pearls are gorgeous. I love them. It looks like it hasn't been worn. And I love the patina. I tested it as well. So I'm going to love on this for a while before I decide to sell. And another Larimar. This one needs some polishing. It's a little bit on the dull side as far as the stone is. But again, it's all on sterling, which I'm very happy to find and test it as well. So this is a lot like the other one I got, um, but a little bit longer. So there you go with my new ring. Sorry, I didn't remember to show you in the beginning. And I will offer those for sale in the future. Hey, I just noticed that this bracelet is signed inside J. Crew. That's very cool. And what have we got on it? Elephants. So gray enameling with elephants. Silver tone or maybe even silver plated inside. And it's a J. Crew. So I bet there's a line of J. Crew jewelry that has this theme on it um, that this probably goes with. So I bet you when I search for this, I'll find what the line of jewelry is called. I'm looking for my bracelet measure. It should be right here. It's probably behind my earring board. It is. Okay. I'm sure it's like eight inches. They're usually eight inches, but it's good to not call it because it's not eight. It is about seven and three quarters, I'd say. So if you have J. Crew jewelry that's gray, enameling with elephants, then this would go with your stuff. And I'll say five on that. Okay, then we have a clip-on, very pretty purple color. I don't think it's terribly old, but it is cute. Rivoli-style setting, where the points to the stones are pointing upward rather than down. So we will put that, oh, it's going to have to go in craft because it's missing the center stone. But let me hold out and see if the stone is in the bag and it might be fixable. Um, I have something to show you as far as the earring board because I made something. Now don't laugh at me, but I found this cone. It's like a tree cone that you get at Christmas time and it's styrofoam. And I should probably back up and explain the earring board. Let me do that. So those that have been 
with me know that I heard from someone else that you can take a piece of styrofoam and you can make a little earring board for your earrings so that while you're unboxing and you find one earring, you can put it on here until the other one shows up. So I've been doing that with the earring board and we have been waiting for its mate, for the second earring to show while it sits there. But I thought this would be practical because it would give me a lot more room to put the earrings. So I crocheted a cover over the top and I put all these loops on it so that when I got some um, clip-on earrings, I could put them on. So let me show you what I mean. So here's a clip-on and here is one of my loops that I crocheted and I can just clip it on there. So <laughs> I hope you like it. It's probably kind of silly looking, but it's very practical, and I've already been practicing uh, with some other earrings that I have, so lots of uses for that. I do like it. Not sure what I'll call this guy, but that's okay. Figure that out as we go. So that's my earring cone, and I'll put that aside for now. So yeah, that was something I forgot to show you until I saw that clip on, so that's fun. Next, oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. It's a brooch. It does look signed, and it feels like glass to me. What a beautiful color, pink. Put these guys back on our earring board. Excuse my arm. Let's see what this is. Yes, they are glass. That is so pretty. It's a darker pink here and a lighter pink here and here and here and here. They are all prong set, gold tone leaves inside. Now let me see if that's a name inside. Uh, maybe not. The leaves that are, it's layered, so the leaves are up on the top here. And when you turn them over, it looks like it's signed, but it's not. As far as I can tell, whoop, something's right there. So let me see if I can make that out. It's Austria. Oh, yes, it's an Austria crystal brooch. That is so beautiful. And it's signed. Woohoo! I'm so happy with this. It's gorgeous. So let me show you nice and closely all the gold tone, beautiful reflections. And I think those are called refractions, but I'm not going to try to say something I don't really know. It does need a little bit of cleaning, but I'm telling you, it's in great shape. It's a beauty. Oh, wow. How do I price this? Um, love to keep it. It's gorgeous. Let me show you on the whiter background. Very beautiful brooch. I'm so happy about that. It measures about two inches across, a little bit of fuzz on it. All prongs set, like I said, multi prongs here. I'm going to say 35 on this. I see them sell on eBay for pretty good, and I love that it's signed. So 35 on the beautiful Austria crystal. Nice big crystals, too. So, yes, that's so pretty. Okay, and this looks very Chico's to me. I've seen some Chico's necklaces with these beads. I think I actually sold one recently, too. Yes, I'm right. It is a Chico's. But this one is a three-strand. And I think I listed it as tribal beads. It got a lot of views. And it's sold. So I'm going to assume that you will all love this too. Needs a little cleaning, which I will do. Three strand Chico's necklace. Beautiful blues and turquoise colors. Um, everything appears to be there. And usually Chico's has one element on their jewelry that's a natural element. Like natural gemstone or something. So I wonder if this is it. Like maybe that's magnesite or halite. Let me test it. 
Um, it is going up a little, but I don't think it's how light. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which of the beads would be some sort of natural element. Maybe they don't do it every single time, but I've found it to be so in every necklace. So it needs a little cleaning, like I said, but it's a pretty one. Like I said, there was a lot of interest on the one I listed on eBay, so I'm going to assume it's desirable. It's 20 inches on the first drop, 20 inch length to this one, and then the last one is 24 inches, so probably 20, 22, 24, and I'll say $8 on the Chico's. This feels nice and heavy, like maybe glass pearls. And I see that it's signed, and I love the clasp already. I'm going to guess Monet because of the clasp. Let's have a peek. Yes, it does say Monet. Well, that's wonderful. So we have a beautiful faux pearl necklace from Monet. Let's make sure the clasp works. Oh, like a charm. It is an older piece. It's hand knotted with the silk thread. Needs a little bit of a bath, but beautiful hand knotted, very good quality Monet glass pearls. It's very champagne color. See how much darker it is against the white? So very pretty color. Measure that for you. I love those clasps. 16 inches hand knotted Monet piece. I'll say six dollars on that. Probably should have gone a little higher, but that's okay. Now, this I have no idea. Looks like a stretch bracelet or maybe something for someone's hair. I'm just gonna put that one aside. It's got too much fuzzy on it. Okay, what is this? A little bit of tanglies. So I thought I would take a minute while I'm untangling to say that I have not forgotten to finish bag number two, the metallic bag that had all the chains and all the, the chain-like jewelry. It's just that if I were to go and record that video today, it would have taken me a lot of time to prepare for it, and I would not have got a video up today. So I thought I'd move ahead to bag number three, but we will go back to the metallic bag, and I will finish that pricing for you very soon in the future. Okay. What are you doing to me, necklace? Hmm... Okay, it looks similar, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be on there. Okay, maybe this is a tassel. Hmm. All right, let's start over. We have the shiny necklace, faceted acrylic. And yeah, that is a tassel. That's a pretty baby. Hearts, a moon. These are not glass, but they're very pretty, and they look glass. Shiny silver tone piece, and it does not have a clasp, so it would be an over-the-head piece. So this is what it would look like on. I love how long the tassel is. It's very interesting. Nice and shiny. It's in good condition. The paper clip chain is really nice, very lovely condition. So there's that piece. This measures 30 inches to the tassel. And then the tassel -y charm piece is another 8 inches. So there you go with that lovely. And I'll say $6 on that. Now, what came out of it? These cutie, cute leopard sort of earrings. I'll have to see if that tests as anything. Not sure. Maybe acrylic, but it's going to go on the weight for your mate. 
wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. So there it goes on our wait for your mate board. Now, why am I not putting it on my new wait for your mate cone? <laughs> because, unfortunately, they don't always stay on this one. Well, actually, this one will because it's got the wire hook, but the straight on studs, that's what I'm trying to say. The stud earrings do not hang on the tree like I had hoped, but this one will. So wait for your mate. We'll be back when we know we've got the second one. Okay, this is pretty. Take that off and put a new one on. Oh, it has some wear on it. So it looks like a glass with a green covering and the green covering is starting to come off. It is a little bit magnetic on the wire, but I will put that in our Macy craft jar. So very cute, nice shiny metal, but a little bit worn. Looks like we have some more art glass. Wow. So these look like a type of Millefiori bead. Let's see, do they go all the way through? Well, I think Millefiori is beads that were rods that were made and then they were sliced thinly and then put inside of another bead. So they do look like a type of Millefiori. Oh, isn't that cute? So we have red and black and a swirly uh, part of the pendant at the bottom. I love the colors. There's a lobster clasp in silver tone and then what looks like a leather cording. Then lots of silver tone beads and sort of a wide drop necklace that would hang like that. That's pretty. I bet you there's earrings to match or something. So let me let you know what the length is. It measures 16 inches and then you've got another two or three inch extender. And I will make sure that these are all glass. Yes. Hmm, these are higher than glass. So I wonder if these are maybe onyx. So I'll bring Miss Prissy over and show you what's happening. Make sure that reflection is not gonna bother you all. Okay, come on girl. Maybe I'll have to move my light. Let's see, oh, okay, come on. All right, so if it's onyx, it's going to go above glass. Mm, yeah, it's just gonna go above glass. So I'll show you. I'm trying to remember the Mohs hardness numbers for onyx. Um, I don't wanna say the wrong thing, but I think glass is 5.5 and onyx might be a seven. So here's the glass bead going in the middle of that red glass um, section and then these are also glass because they're going these are also glass they're going in to the glass range but when I test the oval pieces they're going much higher into like the onyx range so that's really super exciting that there are some onyx pieces on here. So let's see what we've got. We'll recap here. We have a beautiful red and black Millefiori glass beaded necklace with onyx. So you've got two oval pieces of black onyx as well. Very pretty. So if you love that, I think I already gave the measurements and I'll say $12 on that. Oh, that's cute. Now I'm looking around for some red and black to see if I can grab some earrings that match, but 
I guess we'll have to see what comes out of them. <gasps> I was right. Look at, look at matching earrings. <sighs> How did I know? That is awesome. Let's see if I can find the other earring just so we get it settled right now. Come on, baby. You're going to have to wait for your mate. Okay, we got this. Got this piece. Got this piece. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. This is so cool. Looking for the other earring. I think I found it. Yes. And it has a brand new back on it too. So super wonderful matching pair of earrings to go with this necklace. So this shape is glass. So I'll show you again, just so you know. That's the necklace. And now we have a pair of matching earrings. Super fantastic. I'll say another $5 for the earrings. Love it, love it, love it. That was fun. Okay, now this looks like a long piece acrylic with some stationed. Stationed is when the beads are sort of stuck and suspended on along the chain. So in jewelry language, that's what stationed means. And it's a nice long piece. Let me see if these are acrylic. They feel acrylic to me. Going up a little, but I'm gonna say they're acrylic. These are glass, and these are hard to tell, but these round beads along the necklace, the black ones, are glass, so that's nice. So we've got a long station bead necklace, and I mean long, it's super long, like that long, and we have a clasp. Oh, a clasp is great because if it's over the head, you can only wrap it around a few times because you need enough room on the necklace to get it over your head, right? But if you have a clasp, you can wrap it around even more times because then you can clasp it closed. I hope you know what I'm talking about because I think most of you do. So let's see, I'll put it on the buster. No, actually, I'll probably have to wrap it in my hand first and see how it looks wrapped around a bit. So you can wear it with a very clustered look like that since you do have a clasp. That's pretty. Good looking piece. It is lightweight, so you've, you have issues with jewelry and you don't like something heavy on. This is lightweight, so that's a good thing. Those look like chips of something. So, great. We have a nice long necklace. Very versatile. You can wear it many different ways. Layered two times, three times. Or long like a flapper necklace. And now I'm going to get a length for you. Some are glass beads and some are acrylic. So let's see. I'm going to measure it in 20 inch increments. So we have 40 and we have 50, 60, 64 inches. So really cool. The chain is in wonderful condition. Silver tone, station beads, and all the stationing looks to be in good shape. So that's good too. All right, so that's this piece. And I will say $5 on that. Okay, now look at this. I can't even believe it. Those are real flowers in there. Oh my gosh, they look like they look like little beach roses. I mean, I'm not great with flowers, but look at this bracelet. I can't even get over it. So it's clear acrylic 
it's all real. Real flowers. It has a little bit of a gold tinge to it. Wow, oh my, it's so pretty. Now, I usually don't put the bracelets on while I'm looking at them, but I wanted to see how this looks. Yeah, I better not. I'm probably not going to price it because I'll have to look into it. It measures about seven and three quarters. Absolutely stunning. Hi, everyone. I'm going to end this video right here. And I've already recorded the second half of it, so stay tuned for the next video that comes out as we keep working on bag number three of this 45 pounds of jewelry. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And on your way out, if you could click the like button. If you like the video, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Let me know in the comments if you're a new subscriber so I can say hi to you. And click the bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out, okay? So thank you so much, and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.